What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on Yahoo for Monday, February 28th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are. And then shout out to Yahoo for sponsoring this video. Go to AwesomeO.com slash Yahoo dash promo. Get yourself one free month of AwesomeO Plus Platinum, along with some other goodies. Plenty of stuff on the website to help you out as well. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Anthony Edwards, Terry Rozier, Fred Van Vliet, Shea Gilgis Alexander, and DeMontis Sabonis on the outside looking in, who will be my favorites. My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. In first at number five, we've got De'Aaron Fox. He's point guard eligible, $32, projected for 40. The goal is 57, and he's in the optimal lineup 17% of the time. Gave him 35 minutes. Has a cupcake matchup against the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're actually four and a half point favorites. It's completely pace neutral. He's a little over a 1.1 fantasy point per minute in this spot. 24 points on 29% usage, five assists, four and a half boards, a stock and a half. He hasn't been as great with Sabonis. I think the $32, sorry, just $32 price tag works pretty well here. It's not the highest upside spot in the world. If I took one minute away from Fox, he'd tumble out of the top 10. It's pretty difficult on Yahoo in this range. At number four, we're going to Desmond Bain. He's shooting guard eligible, $23, projected for 34. The goal is 47. He's in the optimal lineup 18% of the time. I gave him 32 minutes, 1.1 fantasy points per minute or somewhere thereabouts, 23% usage, 20 points, five boards, three assists, a stock and a half. Big time pace up spot though against San Antonio. They gained two possessions over their average and Memphis eight and a half point favorites. This spot feels pretty good for Desmond Bain. We still have no Dylan Brooks, so we know what Bain's going to do. He's basically the secondary creator for this team, and I think that's a pretty good role for him. At number three, we go to Indiana for power forward O'Shea Brissett. Only $16, projected for 29 The goal is about 40 He's in the optimal lineup 22% of the time. 32 minutes for Brissett. He's playing a ton as of late. 0.9 fantasy points per minute in this spot. It's actually pace up against Orlando. They gain a possession and a half, and it should be competitive, so Brissett should play the whole way. 12 and a half points, nine boards, so knocking on the door of a double-double. An assist, a steal, a block. He'll do a little bit of everything else, but it's mostly points and rebounds here for Brissett. The fact that he's only $16 and he's power forward eligible makes him very easy to fit into lineups. In at number two, we have a very easy value play here. Brandon Goodwin, point guard eligible, $13, projected for 33. The goal's 37. He's in the optimal lineup 26% of the time. Hits his goal 38% of the time, too. 0.95 fantasy points per minute for Goodwin. There's no Darius Garland. There's no Colin Sexton. There's no Karis Levert. There's no Rondo. They're missing every guard possible. 35 minutes for Goodwin, 20% usage. 14, 7, and 5. It's a baseline projection plus a steal and a half. They gain almost three possessions over their average by taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And it's a two point line, which means this year can be competitive the whole way. Maybe Goodwin plays even more. It's not, it wouldn't even be crazy to see that happen. He's just a no brainer as a value option. $13, not nearly enough for the amount of bodies that are out. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are. And then finally, go to awesomeo.com slash yahoo dash promo. Get yourself one free month of Awesome o Plus Platinum. And finally, the number one contender for today is Jimmy Butler. Small forward eligible, $38, projected for 48. The goal is 63, but he's in the optimal lineup 28% of the time. Gave him 36 minutes, 1.35 fantasy points per minute here. Pace neutral against Chicago. Should be competitive. No Kyle Lowry, which gives Jimmy Butler a massive assist rate bump. 23 points, 8 rebounds, 7.5 assists, 2.5 stocks. It's pretty clear to me. Other than Brandon Goodwin as a value option, there is no better play on this slate than $38 Jimmy Butler, number one contender on Yahoo. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on Yahoo for Monday, February 28th. FanDuel and DraftKings versions of this video are around here somewhere. Check them out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win the money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.